Hi there, this is Chilton Webb, and you're looking at Glycon. Glycon's a motion capture platform that uses your VR equipment to perform motion capture. Today I want to talk to you about full body tracking. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you um, basically how that would work with a waist tracker and then two foot trackers, uh, hand controllers, and a VR headset. In this case I'm using a Vive Index, uh, the, the original one. So nothing super fancy here except I've got some extra trackers. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out where you want to position your waist tracker. Now the Glycon uh, automatic calibration system will figure out if it's supposed to be a waist tracker or a chest tracker based on the relative position location to your hands. So when you do your T-pose calibration if, it's, if this is close to your hands uh, height wise it's going to try to figure, it's going to assume that this is a chest tracker. And if it's closer to your feet, it's going to think it's a, a, a waist tracker. And the other thing is, you may find, um, especially if you, uh, let's just say that you have your, donut, your, your diet is uh, entirely like mine, which is uh, donuts and Dr. Pepper, uh, you're going to find that this waist tracker may be a little off to, to the side uh, forward when you do your calibration, just a, a little too far out. It may actually be better if you swap it around, move it all the way around to your back, because it'll be closer to your center of gravity that way. And then um, make sure the cable for your headset, if you're using a cable headset, is uh, definitely not wrapped around you. Okay, all right, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll take a pass on that one. Now, as you can see here, my foot trackers are not moving my feet uh, right now. And the reason is because I have not calibrated this at all. To calibrate, once you're ready, once you've got all your trackers on, I recommend putting all the trackers on first and then putting on the, uh, and then firing up the Glycon. Then you're going to want to stand in a T pose and you're going to push the bottom button on each of the controllers. Or you can press, uh, I believe it's the letter H on the keyboard. And this will do a headset calibration. H for headset. Or press both buttons at the same time. And when you do that, you're going to get a thing up here on the screen. And I'm going to show you that from behind here. Hopefully, that'll, yeah up here on the screen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to count down to the T-pose, okay? So I'm actually uh, physically taller than the, uh, than the avatar in the scene right now, and um, so I'm going to T-pose and, and do this, and when I calibrate it, it will reset everything to match my height or, and, and everything else. So here we go. We're going to put your arms out, press both buttons at the bottom, and what you'll first notice is this, uh, this looks wrong. This looks horribly wrong. The calibration uh, system takes a few tries. So if it look, comes out looking like this, you do it again. Three, two, one. And usually by the second or third time, it'll start to get it right. Now, another thing you might notice is you might come in here uh, being a little bit too tall, or the, the avatar might be a little too large. And if that's the case, uh, try calibrating a, a few more times. And if you're still not happy with it, then you can go in here to uh, let's see, I'm going to show you where this is in the UI. I will do that in, uh, I believe, this mode. In the UI on this side, if I go over here to this little icon right here, uh, that's going to let me see the IK settings. Okay, and so I'm going to switch to the other camera now to show you what that looks like. On this side of the IK settings, if I go to Avatar Scale, I can then uh, choose under, uh, let me move back to avatar scale, there we go. I can now change the height of my character, arm length and leg length, okay? And this will let me, uh, hopefully, more accurately create my character in the world so that it's going to match my movements a little better. And there we go, okay. So that's all it takes to set up the, uh, the calibration. and. Then once you're set up, uh, then you can follow the rest of the instructions if you want to do, um, uh, you know, uh, recording motion capture. Easy stuff, man. Easy stuff. This is a Glycon. You can get a copy at glycon3d.com. And uh, I cannot wait to see what you guys make with it. There we go. Glycon3d.com. See you there.